legislation for people wanting to um get event funding so i gave them the option to either reimburse or to get prize money and explained how they would submit an application and what needs to be on the application and that we reserve the right to decline if we want and that's the mayor shall not transfer funds that exceed whatever the amount asked was I also altered the choosing of the sheriff thing. So now it's five names instead of three. And then if the BCSO fails to deliver a list of five names, the mayor can choose whoever they want within the department. So long as they're deputy or higher. Sounds like good legislation. It is. It's more there just so people aren't like, wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. And then we're like, oh, heck. My bad. It's more informative than like trying to actually put procedure in, I guess. It's good to have a system and people know and can cite exactly how they're supposed to do X, Y, or Z. Oh my goodness. Aren't you just a cute little thing? I love you. But I will say chat. I'm pretty burnt out and once we finish our mayor stuff which honestly is mostly just seeing the things come about that we wanted um I'm gonna step down and and be donezo I have held out longer than many <laughs> I'm just this isn't say that I'm gonna like go immediately hop to another server or something it's just i'm just i'm just, I'm just uh i just need to not be playing gta right now my brain is very dumb uh i said dumb which is true but i meant done i need like an actual solid dunzo so if we hit my goal of where i want to be at for the year with like accounting for what the fuck is that <laughs> with accounting for the rest of the year um we're just gonna do variety until rp sounds appealing for me again save for like a few weeks here and there i've just done gta all day every day for like five years now and put so much mental thought and capacity into everything I was doing that like not that it doesn't take a lot out of the average player but like doing all of the events and all of the legal work legislation lawyer stuff whatever which I didn't do that much lawyer stuff but um leading stuff uh it's just it's just so much on the mental after so many years. And I know that I'll probably get shit for not finishing out the term, but like, as far as Andy goes, if the PP stuff doesn't stop, then in her mind, there's a possibility that people are getting hurt because she's in office. Or that that's like the latest reason that's happening. And so she would rather step away than be causing people harm when she's supposed to be causing good. 
But also outside of that, I mean, just a solid reason is like, if I achieved everything I wanted to with it, why stay when someone else couldn't come in? I left to ask Angel. <laughs> the... I'm, I'm unsure how there's still not like a defined legislated process of what happens if someone steps down or gets impeached. Unless I totally missed it. That should probably be hammered out. Done everything under the sun on the server. Have. She's been at the top of both worlds. Bottom of both worlds. I think all in all I learned that I am very much a civ player. <laughs> I enjoy crime if it's the right type. Um, but that type is very rare. And I feel like I've been, uh, <clears throat> I feel like I've been forcing myself on when I just shouldn't. Difficult to be still on the server right now, I know. I know, it's rough. I also just think, like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't- I'm not gonna perma Andy over something random just to get rid of her. Cause I feel like that would be disrespecting myself and, like, the amount of years and effort I've put into her. And I'm gonna be real, I feel like Andy's just nunzo at this point. And I don't ever want to play, like, another character until it's something good and something that will fit the way the server functions. Or any server, to be honest. I feel like she's just done so much that it's always a question of what's next. Um, but with Andy also comes a reputation. I also feel like if I'm being totally honest, and I would hope, not really expect, but <laughs> would hope other our peers are honest with themselves too. Um, the server has a meta. And the standard is very much like not roleplay right now. It is very much, and I'm not saying for everybody, but server wide, it, like things feel more like discord calls than they do roleplay. And I've let myself get really, really lazy when it comes to that too, because I mean, when that becomes the norm, there are people like myself who ended up feeling really awkward and displaced by role-playing the things that were happening and then sometimes it was like why are you making this a big deal and you're like uh well i'm not i'm just reacting realistically but out of feeling dumb or self-conscious about stuff like that i think a lot of us um enjoyed the slow burn story aspect of role play ended up feeling like really disjointed and like we had to adapt to this kind of more laid back approach to the server and what happened in it. And I miss feeling like I'm like 100% um, Playing like a really, really, really immersive character. Which isn't on anybody except for me, right? But it still contributes to the overall feeling of being dumb. Dumb? Why do I keep saying dumb? Chat? <laughs> what is my mental? <laughs> of being done. Done with it for now. And as like the meta changes, there's less and less people to like rely on and lean on for bits and for your kind of old school or peer used to, and that just becomes really depressing after a while. <laughs> 